A forest is a complex ecosystem which is predominantly composed of trees, shrubs and is usually a closed canopy. Forests are storehouses of a large varieties of life forms such as plants, mammals, birds, insects, reptiles and so on. The forests also have abundant microorganisms and fungi which do the important work of decomposing dead organic matter, thereby enriching the soil. Nearly 4 billion hectares of forest cover the earth's surface, roughly 30% of its total land areas. Many forest products are used in day-to-day -day life. Besides these, forests play important role in maintaining ecological balance and contributes to economy also. Classification of forests Forests can be classified in different ways. The forest type depends upon the abiotic factors such as climate and soil characteristics of the region. Forests in India can be broadly divided into coniferous forests and broad-leaved forests. They can also be classified according to the nature of their tree species, evergreen, deciduous, xerophytes or thorn trees, mangroves, etc. They can also be classified according to the most abundant species of trees, such as sal or teak forest. In many cases, a forest is named after the first three or four most abundant three species. Coniferous forests grow in the Himalayan mountain region where the temperature is very low. These forests have tall, stately trees with needle-like leaves and downward sloping branches so that the snow can slip off easily from the branches. Broad-leafed forests are of several types such as evergreen forests, deciduous forests, thorn forests and mangrove forests. Broad-leafed trees usually have large leaves of various shapes and are found in the middle to lower latitude. Evergreen forests grow in the high rainfall areas of the Western Ghats, Northeastern India and the Andaman Nicobar Islands. These forests grow in areas where the monsoon period lasts for several months. Deciduous forests are found in the regions with a moderate amount of seasonal rainfall that lasts for only a few months. Most of the forests in which tree trees go are of this type. The deciduous trees shed their leaves during the winter and hot summer months. Thorn forests are found in the semi-arid regions of India. The trees which are sparsely distributed are surrounded by open grassy areas. Mangrove forests grow along the coast, especially in the river deltas. These plants are uniquely adapted to able to grow in a mix of saline and fresh water. They grow luxuriantly in muddy areas covered with silt that the river has brought down. The mangroves trees have breathing roots that emerge from the mud banks. Tropical forest a great majority of the forests found in India are of this type. Tropical forests are of two types, tropical moist forests, tropical dry forests, tropical moist forests. These are further classified into the following types on the basis of relative degree of wetness. Tropical moist evergreen forests, 
ट्रॉपिकल मॉस्ट सेमी एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल मॉस्ट डिसिडियस फॉरेस्ट एंड लिटोरल एंड स्वैम्प फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल मॉस्ट एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट इन इंडिया सच फॉरेस्ट आर फाउंड इन वेरी वेट रीजन रिसीविंग मोर देन टू फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर एवरेज एनुअल रेनफॉल दीज आर क्लाइमेटिक फॉरेस्ट हैविंग लग्जूरियंटली ग्रोइंग लॉफ्टी ट्रीज विच आर मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव मीटर्स इन हाइट द श्रब्स लयनास दैट इज वुडी क्लाइंबर्स एंड एपीफाइड्स आर अबंडेंट बिकॉज ऑफ हाई रेनफॉल these forests are found in andaman and nicobar islands western coasts and parts of karnataka that is north kannada annamalai hills in tamil nadu assam and bengal the detail account of this is given in the description of mesophytes tropical moist semi evergreen forests these forests are found along the western coasts eastern orissa and upper assam where annual rainfall is between 200 and 250 cm they are characterized by giant and luxuriantly growing intermixed deciduous and evergreen species of trees and shrubs the important plants in these forests are the species of terminalia bambusa ixora dipterocarpus garcinia sterculia melotus calamus albizia elleteria pothos whitish shoria cinnamomum bahuinia etc orchids ferns some grasses and several other herbs also are common tropical moist deciduous forests these cover an extensive area of the country receiving sufficiently high rainfall that is about 100 to 200 cm spread over most of the year the dry periods are of short duration many plants of such forests show leaf fall in hot summer the forests are found along the wet western side of the deccan plateau that is mumbai northeast andhra gangetic plains and in some himalayan tracts extending from punjab in west to assam valley in the east the forests of southern india are dominated by teak tectona grandis terminalia paniculata terminalia bellerica gravia tiliefolia dalbergia latifolia lagerstroemia adena caldifolia etc are the other common species in forests of south india in north they are dominated by sal that is shoria robusta some other common associates of sal are terminalia tomentosa delenia species eugenia species boswellia species and melotus philippensis these forests produce some of the most important timbers of india littoral and swamp forests littoral and swampy forests include the following types beech forests tidal forests or mangrove forests freshwater swamp forests beech forests the beech forests are found all along the sea beaches and the river deltas the soil is sandy having large amount of lime and salt but poor in nitrogen and other mineral nutrients ground water is brackish water table is only a few meters deep and rainfall varies from 75 cm to 500 cm depending upon the area the temperature is moderate the common plants of these forests are Casuarina equisitifolia, Borassus, Phoenix, Manilkara littoralis, Calophyllum littoralis, Pandanus, Thespesia, Barringtonia, Pongamia, Cocos nucifera, Spinifex littorius, and number of twiners and climbers. Tidal or mangrove forests. 
tidal forests grow near the estuaries or the deltas of rivers, swampy margins of islands and along sea coasts. The soil is formed of silt, silt loam or silt clay and sand. The plants are typical halophytes which are characterized by presence of prop roots with well-developed knees for support and nematophores and viviparous germination of seeds. Tidal forests are distinguished into the following four types with overlapping constituent species. Tree mangrove forest, low mangrove forests, salt water forests and brackish water forests. Tree mangrove forests. These forests occur on both east and west sea coasts. The best development occurs in Sundarbans. The forest floor is flooded with salt water daily. Plants may attain a height of 10 to 15 meters and form an almost closed evergreen forest. The common trees of these forests are Rhizophora mucronata, Rhizophora conjugata, Avicennia alba, Brugiera conjugata, Brugiera parviflora, Brugiera caryophylloides, Candela candel, Xerocarpus molluccensis, Xerocarpus granatans, Cereops tagal, Avicennia officinalis, Exocaria agalocha, Sonneracea acida, Lumnitzera racemosa, Lumnitzera littoria, Aegiseras carniculatum and two most frequently occurring palms, Nipav fructicans and Phoenix palludosa. In addition to these trees, Acanthus, Illicifolius and other shrubs also grow at some places. Low mangrove forests. These forests grow on soft tidal mud near estuaries, which is flooded by salt water. Forest is dense, but the trees with leathery leaves attain maximum height of 3 to 6 meters. The vegetation consists of a few species which show gregarious growth habit. Important tree species are Cereops decandra, Avicennia alba, Aegialitis rotundifolia, and Exocaria agallocha, besides a common shrub, Acanthus elicifolius, and some grasses. Low mangrove forests are more developed on east sea coast than west sea coast. Salt water mangrove forests. These forests occur beyond tree mangrove forests in big river deltas where the ground is flooded with tidal water. Silt deposition and salt content in soil are low. Tree height is up to 20 meter or so, but girth is not large. Forests are dense. Nematophores are common. The common plants are Heritiera minor, Exocaria agallocha, Cereops decandra, Xylocarpus molluccensis, Brugiera conjugata, Avicennia officinalis, and Nipa at some places. Brackish water mangrove forests. They grow near the river deltas where forest floor is flooded with water at least for some times daily. Water is brackish, that is salty, but during rains it is nearly fresh. Trees height may reach 30 meter or so. Forest is dense. Common species of these forests are Heritiera minor, Xylocarpus molluccensis, Brugiera conjugata, Avicennia officinalis, Soneratia caseolaris, Soneratia acida, Exocaria agallocha, Caryops decandra, Cynometra ramiflora, Amura cuculata, Pandanus, and two palms, Nipa and Phoenix paludosa. Freshwater swamp forest. These forests grow in low-lying areas where rain, 
the swollen river water is collected for some time. Water table is near the surface. Important plants include Salix tetrosperma, Acer, Putrangiva, Holoptelia, Cephalanthus, Barringtonia, Olea, Phobe, Ficus, Murraya, Adathoda, Canna, and a variety of grasses. Tropical dry forests. These are classified into the following types. Tropical dry evergreen forests, tropical dry deciduous forests, and tropical thorn forests. Tropical dry evergreen forests. These forests are found in the areas where rainfall is in plenty but dry season is comparatively longer. The trees are dense, evergreen and short, about 10 to 15 meters high. These forests are found in eastern parts of Tamil Nadu, in east and west coasts. The common plant species are much the same as in tropical moist evergreen forests. Species of Maba, Calotropis, Pabeta, Pheronia, Calanthemum, Zizipus, Randia, etc. are most common. Bamboos are absent, but grasses are common. Tropical dry deciduous forests. These forests are distributed in the areas where rainfall of annual is usually low ranging between 70 and 100 cm, such as Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, Orissa, Madhya Pradesh and large part of Indian Peninsula. The largest area of country's forest land is occupied by tropical dry deciduous forests. The dry season is long and most of the trees remain leafless during that season. The forest trees are not dense, 10 to 15 meter in height, and undergrowth is abundant. In the north, the forests are dominated by sal, and in south, by teak, that is Tectona grandis. The common conscients of these forests in south are Dalbergia, Terminalia, Dillenia, Acacia, Tyrospermum, Diospyros, Enogesis. Boswellia, Chlorus xylon, Bahinia, Hardwickia, Gymnosporia, Zizipus, Moringa, Dendrocalamus, and so on. The other species of trees and shrubs of sal dominated forests of northern region are Terminalia, Semicarpus, Bucnania, Cairisa, Maduka, Acacia, Sterculia, Launia, Salmelia adina, Bahinia, Egil, Gravia, Philanthus, etc. Tropical thorn shrubs. These forests occur in the areas where annual rainfall is between 20 to 70 cm. Dry season is hot and very long. They are found in South Punjab most of Rajasthan and part of Gujarat. The vegetation in this region occurs only along the rivers. The land away from the rivers and devoid of irrigation is mostly sandy and devoid of trees. The vegetation is of open type consisting of small trees 8 to 10 meter high and thorny or spiny shrubs of stunted growth. The forests remain leafless for most part of the year and are sometimes called thorn scrub or scrub jungles. There is luxuriant growth of ephemeral herbs and grasses during the rainy season. Towards the desert region, the vegetation diminishes and in arid parts there is almost no vegetation. The species of acacia Cassia, Calotropis, Randia, Albizia, Zizipus, Erythroxylon, Euphorbia, Cordia, Prosopis, Salvadora, Agil, Gymnosporia, Atriplex, Gravia, Asparagus, 
ਬਰਬੇਰੀਸ ਬਿਊਟੀਆ ਕੋਚੀਆ ਲੈਪਟਾਡੀਨੀਆ ਕੈਪੈਰਿਸ ਅਡਾਟੋੜਾ ਐਟਸੈਟਰਾ ਕੈਰੈਕਟਰਾਈਜ਼ ਦਾ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸੈਮੀ ਏਰੀਡ ਰੀਜਨਸ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਚੈਂਪੀਅਨ 1938 ਨੇਮਡ ਦਾ ਨੈਚਰਲ ਵੈਜੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਡੈਜ਼ਰਟ ਐਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਪੀਕਲ ਟਾਰਨੀ ਫਾਰੈਸਟ ਬਰੂਚਾ 1955 divided the rajasthan desert into the following vegetational zones area of shifting sand dunes at and around jaisalmer and bikaner area of established sand dunes near jodhpur sand stone rocks covered by xerophytic plants like euphorbia nerifolia area of halophytic vegetation and sandy loam soil vegetation subtropical mountain forests these forests are found in the region of fairly high rainfall but where temperature differences between winter and summer are less marked winter generally goes without rains they are found up to the altitude of about 1500 meter in south and up to 1800 meter in the north in composition subtropical forests are almost intermediate between tropical forests and temperate forests and a sharp demarcation can seldom be made between tropical and subtropical or subtropical and temperate forests these forests have been grouped into the following types wet hill broadleaves forests dry evergreen forests and pine forests wet hill broad leaved forests they are found in mahabaleshwar kurg karnataka parts of assam panchmari and other parts of madhya pradesh the important plants found in the wet hill forests of south are the species of eugenia randia terminalia elegans murraya gymnosporia atilosia ficus tyrocarpus lantana etc while those of north are castanopsis calamus alnus carcus betula chima phobe cedrella garcinia populus etc dry evergreen forests they occupy the foothill areas of himalaya the common constants of vegetation are acacia modesta olea cuspidata etc pine forests they are found mostly in western and central himalayas and assam hills the forests are dominated by species of pinus pinus cassia and pinus roxburghii species of carcass berberis carissa bohemia may also occur rarely in pine forests temperate mountain forests these forests occur in the himalayas at the altitude from 1800 to 3800 meters where humidity and temperature are comparatively low mountain forests have been classified into the following three types on the basis of moisture regime mountain wet temperate forests himalayan moist temperate forest and himalayan dry temperate forests mountain wet temperate forests these are found in himalayas extending from nepal to assam at the altitude from 1800 to 3000 meter as well as in some parts of south india its nilgiris the forests in south are evergreen and are called sholas the forests are dense with closed canopy and the trees may be 15 to 20 meter in height epiphytes are in abundance important plants constituents the vegetation in eastern himalayas are species of conifers hopia bellona carpus elio carpus atrocarpus 
कीरो कार्पस मिरिस्टिका हार्डविकिया साल्मेलिया डायोस्कोरिया द मेंबर्स ऑफ फैमिली कॉम्पोसिटे रूबियेसी एकेंथेसी एंड लेग्युमिनेसे फॉर्म द अंडरग्रोथ हिमालयन मॉइस्ट टेंपरेट फॉरेस्ट्स दीस फॉरेस्ट्स डेवलप इन द एरियाज ऑफ लेसर रेनफॉल द ट्रीज आर हाई समटाइम्स अप टू 45 मीटर्स टॉल the dominant elements of vegetation are oak and conifers undergrowth is shrubby and consists of deciduous species of berberis spiria contenaster etc himalayan dry temperate forests these forests dominated by rhododendrons oaks and conifers from a narrow belt at the altitude from 3000 to 4000 meter in the western himalaya extending from a part of uttaranchal through himachal pradesh and punjab to kashmir the other commonly found species belong to genera daphne desmodium indigofera atremisia cannabis plectranthus fraxinus several epiphytic mosses lichens etc sub alpine forests the sub alpine forests are found throughout himalayas from ladakh in the west to arunachal in the east at the altitude from 2800 meter to 3800 meter annual rainfall is less than 65 cm but snowfall occurs for several weeks in a year strong winds and below 0 degree centigrade temperature prevail for greater part of the year trees are like those of temperate zone epiphytic mosses and lichens are in abundance champion 1939 has recognized the following two types of forests in sub alpine zone silver fir birch forests which are found on glacial moraines abis pectabilis abis densa pinus belliciana betula utilis carcus simia carpifolia pyrus species rhododendrons juniperus recurva juniperus belliciana berberis salix fruticulosa are common plants of these forests birch rhododendron forests which grow on rocky substrata the common trees are betula utilis carcus semicarpifolia many species of rhododendron pyrus species acer species salix juniperus species etc alpine forests alpine vegetation has been classified into the following three types alpine forests moist alpine scrubs and dry alpine scrubs alpine forests plants growing at the altitude from 2900 to 6000 meter are called alpine plants in india alpine flora occurs in himalayan between 4500 to 6000 meter at lower level alpine forests consists of dwarf trees with or without conifers and at higher level scrubs and only scattered xerophytic scrubs are left to merge with alpine meadows the common plants of alpine forests are abies pinus juniperus betula shrubby rhododendrons carcus pyrus salix etc moist alpine scrubs This type of vegetation is distributed extensively throughout the Himalayas about 3000 meters. It is most often dense and composed of evergreen dwarf rhododendrons species, some birch and other deciduous trees. Mosses and ferns cover the ground with varying amount of alpine shrubs, flowering herbs and ferns. Alpine pastures include mostly mesophytic herbs with very little grasses dry alpine scrubs these are 
ఓపెన్ జీరోఫిటిక్ ఫార్మేషన్స్ స్ప్రెడ్ ఇన్ ఉత్తర్ ప్రదేశ్ హిమాచల్ ప్రదేశ్ పంజాబ్ అండ్ కాశ్మీర్ స్పీషీస్ బిలాంగ్ టు ఆర్టిమీసియా పొటెంటిల్లా కోచిలా జూనిపెరస్ ప్రిడోమినేట్ ఇన్ ది విజిటేషన్ విచ్ డెవలప్స్ జనరలీ ఆన్ లైమ్ స్టోన్ రాక్ సమ్మరీ ద ఫారెస్ట్ ఈకోసిస్టమ్ హ్యాస్ టూ కాంపోనెంట్స్ ద నాన్ లివింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఏ బయోటిక్ అండ్ ద లివింగ్ బయోటిక్ కాంపోనెంట్స్ క్లైమేట్ సాయిల్ టైప్ ఆర్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది నాన్ లివింగ్ కాంపోనెంట్ and the living component include plants animals and other life forms plants include the trees shrubs climbers grasses and herbs in the forest depending on the physical geographical climatic and ecological factors there are different types of forests like evergreen forests mainly composed of evergreen tree species that is species having leaves all throughout the year and deciduous forest mainly composed of deciduous tree species that is species having leaf fall during particular month of the year each forest type forms a habitat for a specific community of animals that are adapted to live in it the term forest implies natural vegetation of the area existing from thousands of years and supporting a variety of biodiversity forming a complex ecosystem plantation is different from natural forest as these planted species are often of same type and doesn't support a variety of natural biodiversity forests provide various natural services and products Thank you.